I guess the first thing that you have to do if you're feeling unmotivated is to ask yourself, why am I here? Why am I in this position where I just don't feel like doing anything productive with my life? Because I think people often don't ask that question. We just like, okay, I need to get out of here. I'm unmotivated. I need to be motivated. You have to first ask yourself, what got you there so that it won't happen again? I realized that oftentimes my being unmotivated came from burnout. I was just doing too much, too much. And I wasn't showing up for myself. I was just working so much. I was scheduling so much. So I get this analysis paralysis of, okay, I have too many things to do. I don't even want to start. So ask yourself, why are you feeling unmotivated? The second is, it's so important to have mentors or even accountability partners to help you process what you're going through. For me, I even have a counselor and a therapist that I talk to, especially when I'm going through seasons of doubt depression, and unmotivation wherein I need to process with them, okay, how did I get here and what do I do next? And people who will just encourage you and tell you that, hey, this is something that you can get through and we're here to help you, that's so important. And the third thing would probably be something that I often say on the podcast. I have a saying on the podcast where I say, just force it for five minutes. If you're unmotivated to do anything, you don't want to work, you don't want to work out, you don't want to write, you don't want to do anything, you don't want to see people, just force it for five minutes. And I've realized that after those first five minutes of you just showing up because you have to, not because you want to, your disposition changes once you get into the groove of things. I I think most of us get stuck in being unmotivated because we wait to feel motivated before we do something. But in reality, we often have to do first before we feel. We often have to do productive things first before we feel productive. Right. Wow. That's a great tip. It's so true. It's it's the action that creates the momentum. Because if you're not moving, you're not doing anything, of course, you're not going to feel like doing anything. And you just want to stay doing nothing. This actually yeah. reminds me of something. In, it's like a, a law of physics, actually. I don't know if you've heard of like these Newton law of physics, but it's like an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest. Like it's literally a physical law, a law of physics. So it makes so much sense with motivation is like, just get yourself moving for five minutes and then you'll be, you'll be better off. Mm, precisely. And and I was reading this book. Uh, I guess everybody has read this book, Atomic Habits. And he was saying that you don't have to be 20% better to do something. You just have to aim for 1%. And just, just even just aim for 1%. Don't even think about doing 5% or 8%. Just aim for 1% every day. So if it's just five minutes of work that you get to put it and it stops there, then you still got to do five minutes of work instead of nothing. 